Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another craptacular episode of BudgetGuitarist.com on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. My name is Officer Tony Woods. I am the video editor, which means I get to take all the crappy video and put it together for you. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you very much. You can turn the camera off now, Ricky. Turn it up. It's the red button. Da, jeez. Hang on. Hello, Richard from BudgetGuitarist.com, and I'm here today to demo the Line 6 EX1 Expression pedal. I'm going to be using it with my HX Stomp. This is a $69 expression pedal. It was pretty much the cheapest one on Amazon. It works. I really do not think that this would stand up to heavy usage. I'm fairly certain that once I start doing gigs again, I'll probably break this thing. But for home use, it's fine, and I will use it until I break it. And there you go. I don't have to do a review anymore. It does work. I'm going to show you how it works right now. Okay, so as you saw in the intro, it comes with a, a little cable that's about this long, maybe this long, which is great unless you want to have, you know, a little bit of distance between the pedal and the device. So you might ask the question, can you just use a regular guitar cable with the EX1 to connect it to a stomp? And the answer is yes, you can. It's idiot proof because there's only one place to plug it in here. On the stomp, you won't be able to see this, but there's an EXP 1-2 jack which is right here and that's where it plugs in really couldn't be simpler in terms of that in the past companies like line six have included foot pedal to do two different things jack does a volume pedal or and or to act as a wah pedal. So we're gonna demonstrate those two things first, but then we're gonna show you how to do some other also cool stuff. Here's a tip from budgetguitarist.com. If you're about to start doing gigs, it's a really, really good idea to not just have one guitar pick because you will inevitably drop it. I can remember open mic night, one of the very first open mics I did, very first chord I hit the pick went flying and I didn't have another one. Fortunately, some kind people helped me find the pick, but anyway.
Anyway, this has been a look at the EXP expression pedal. There's a lot of things you can do with the expression pedals. It's not just for volume and wah anymore. And you can control virtually any and every parameter inside of the stomp. So you could even change the microphone on an IR file with the pedal as you're playing or change the bass knob position on an amp or the mid-range knob position on an amp or any any setting basically any knob on any pedal inside of that box so that makes it extremely powerful i will grant you that this is probably for the more uh esoteric guitar players who like to do a lot of different kinds of effects etc I mean, honestly, out of everything I just showed, I'll be doing the volume pedal the most. I probably won't use a watt pedal at all. I could maybe see using it for controlling the gain on a boost pedal. That might be a good usage. But, you know, my goal here wasn't to show you what I would do with it. It was to show you kind of some of the things that you can do. And um, if you have any questions about it, uh, feel free to put them in the comments section. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, click the little bell thing so that you'll be notified when there's a new video. But spoiler alert, videos are always Friday at 5. So I will see you next Friday. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, Tony and I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next week.